Okay, so this is gonna be a short follow-up to the Jiho video because I think some people misunderstood what I was doing in the Jiho video. It was mostly a rant about Jiho being a scumbag, but some people may have mistaken me for saying that he's a bad character. Okay, so first of all, you guys are fucking insane. When I posted the new video, I was telling you guys to run up the views and I was expecting what, like 800 views? Maybe 1K if the algorithm picks it up, but you guys literally obliterated the view count and I got 2.3K views within a day, plus 25 subscribers, which is the best performing video on my channel to date. And before I get into the video, I wanna go ahead and thank you guys so much for supporting, for watching the videos, for watching the TikToks, for subscribing, for liking, commenting, everything. I just wanna go ahead and say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys don't know how much this means to me and I hope you guys keep on watching and keep liking the videos. This misunderstanding is partly my fault because sometimes I don't articulate myself very well. But for context, I'm only on chapter 290s where the workers were just introduced. So let me make this clear. Geo Park is a scumbag, but a well-written character. While I briefly mentioned this in the last video, I really didn't expand on it because it wasn't really the topic of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a separate video for it and consider it a character analysis. The reason Jiho is such a well-written character is because of his relatability. And it's not just Jiho, but the whole story of Lookism is very relatable to most people, which is why it's so popular. From the ugly person who gets a glow up and now sees how people treat him differently, to the fat ugly loser who decides to improve himself, the athlete who wants to be a rival, the once superficial girl, the child who goes down a dark path in order to help his family, and the saddest of them all, the once bullied kid reaches his breaking point and gets pushed over the edge, becoming a monster. To me, Geo Park is a personification of the quote, all it takes is one bad day to reduce the sanest men into lunacy. Or in his case, one very bad decision. Although a lot of his misfortune is a result of his own actions and not just his circumstances, we can relate to that because at one point or another, we've been in that situation where one bad day or one bad decision could literally ruin our lives. Since you're watching this video, then that decision probably didn't drive you to psychopathy but you still understood how easily everything could have went downhill very fast and once that ball starts rolling downhill it's very hard to stop and that ladies and gentlemen is what makes jiho such a good character essentially jiho park as a character is a look into what any one of us could have become albeit an extreme example and this is emphasized by the fact although fictional his downfall is very realistic because at one point or another we've all been bullied and felt alone in search for a place to belong to. And that's an experience that pretty much everyone alive has gone through. And when a character goes through the same experiences as you, you start to empathize with them and you start having emotions towards them. When you start feeling emotions, whether it be love, hate, anger, joy, towards a fictional character, then that is a well-written character. I just realized that Ji-Ho got R-worded by Darius while he was in Juvie. And I didn't realize that was Darius at first because like I thought he was like a one off character, but he came back and I kind of find it weird that Jiho is using him as his pawn, which I thought he would actually just kill him for R wording him. But apparently he's keeping him alive for some reason. When I made this scumbag video, I hadn't read up to chapter 264 and 65, which are the chapters where Jiho joined Big Deal. And those two chapters made Jiho as a character a little bit more interesting to me. And I actually can't wait to see what he does in the future. But people already spoiled it that Jiho dies, which is fine, but I'm still interested to see what he does before he dies. One thing I hope doesn't happen is that Jiho becomes physically threatening. Like he should stay more as a character that's not physically threatening, but will use like weapons to kind of like sneak attack you. I don't want to see a competent fighter like Jake get bodied by Jiho with a fidget spinner. Like that wouldn't make any sense. I want him to stick to using manipulation, fear tactics, and other people to do his dirty work. So I'm excited to see what he does in the future, if he's going to take over a big deal or just manipulate Jake or something. But that's it for today. I see 98% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. So go ahead, leave a like and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about G Ho. If I change your mind about him, if your perspective change about him, anything, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Also, that's why I post like daily lookism content, but I also post them as short sometimes, but not all the time. Well, all right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.